welcome back to my live um today we have sister um yamina um she is going to be talking about v steaming so in honor of steaming your flower i have a surprise for you guys that i ordered and i hope you all will appreciate this all right i got my keys here This is it right here. So, in honor of our guest, we will be steaming a flower, a flower tea. And I ordered this kit um, from Amazon, as you can tell from the box. And this is all that comes inside of the box. It was about 50 bucks, like 59 bucks. Um, so, I'm going to get this started so we can see like how it works this is what comes inside oh oh my lady hands my nails ah! i hope i don't lose a homie <laughs> oh i lost the homie look at that it's okay y'all worth it <laughs> Okay, so this is the actual like pie. It comes in, comes with a pie. It's so cute. It has hearts on it. Oh, this is so cute. It's a nice size too, for it to come with all this stuff in a box. If you buy this stuff individually, like it's really expensive. And this, this is the stove. This is the stove top where it sits on like this okay and this is the candle it actually comes with one candle so this this is not included in the steam box kit from ID naturals I ordered this separately from Amazon and this is the stove this is the actual like stove that the candle go inside of so the candle goes right here in this little groove part. So I'm going to light that right now. Give me a lighter. I want to light that. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, I look like my mama, girl. All right. I want to light that. And put that into the stove part. Let me pan this down so y'all can see what I'm doing. goes like that there and I think this is the steeper part so this is the seat that so if you have like loose herbs or something you can like put that in there like that and put the water in there and it'll steep with the water but we are going to bloom a flower in our tea today so we put that on top of there like so. And this is the lid. This is the cutest lid. Oh, look at the little heart. It matches the heart on the side of here like that. So cute. Okay, and next it comes with the tea. Okay, so let's look at these teas. Huh? This is already, like, I already had some um, hot water sitting to the side for Tom's sake. Y'all, excuse my nails. I lost another homie in this box. Our guest sister is certified in vaginal steam facilitator. She's a certified vaginal steam facilitator. Let's see. This is her license here. She is a vaginal steam facilitator. She is certified in farming and beekeeping. She has been 
in the herbal medicinal field for over 10 years and has a lifetime of experiment and purification due to ongoing battle with Evans syndrome and ITP. That is an immune disorder which is an intolerance of high levels of toxins in your blood. So she constantly has to like clean herself out so that she won't get sick from just the toxins and foods and the toxins of every day. So she has a lifetime experience in purification. So if you have any questions, you can rest assured she can answer them when it comes to medicinal herbal purposes. So I'm just opening this can is uh this can with the flowers for our key and i'm going to bring on our guest while our flower is blooming okay oh look y'all okay what's this so they come in these like, oh, oh, okay. So they come in these like little packs like this and it's like a picture here. I mean, a, a screen here so you can see like what it looks like. And it is also a heart. It's a heart like the lid, like the tea lid here. And the teapot has a heart on the side, and the tea ball comes, the flower ball comes in the shape of a heart as well. And then on the other side is the name and the picture of the flower. So this is so super stinking cute. So y'all didn't vote. I don't see any numbers for what tea to do. So I'm going to pick first kiss, which is this one. This one is first kiss. And that's what it's supposed to look like when it blooms. Okay, so let's do it. Oh, is this hot? It's not hot. This is lit by a candle. Okay. Oh, wow. It's so cute. I'm gonna just drop that in there like that. It has a smell. It smells good. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a minty floral smell, like rose water and mint. Oh, that's, that's probably gonna taste good. Okay, so I'm gonna sit this right here to the side so you can still see it here can y'all see this all okay. right sister are y'all are you there i am going to bring you up now oh i don't want this to be in the way hello you sideways sis i am <laughs> yeah you like uh okay so unfortunately we could not be in the wood shop today. They are closed due to the weather. So um, some things are beyond our control, but that's okay. Um, when I upload this video to YouTube and um, you see the previews on my feed uh, or on my Instagram grid, it'll be a tour that she's d done uh, before. And you can also check it out on ID Natural. Um, Instagram page she has a tour that she did before too. She builds these boxes by hand. So yes. I'm so excited to see what goes into the boxes and, and all of that. My, I would like to ask you like a few questions before we start like doing um the demonstration. Okay. One, um what exactly are you showing today? So uh, I wanted to show you guys some of the pieces of a vaginal steam box. I actually create them myself. I go get the wood. I prep the wood. I cut the wood. 
I design the wood and then I ultimately put it together. So just like my everyday products that I provide on adinaturals.com, I'm involved in every process of completing it from beginning to end to ensure that there are no shortcuts, additives, or anything that Jediah was mentioning. I have a blood disorder, so I'm very particular about the things that go on our skin, near our skin, and in our bodies. That is so great. I'm so excited to see um, what you have to show us today. Um, okay, in the next um, question I wanted to ask, was where are you now? Like, are you in, a, in your home workshop or? Yeah, so the, that doesn't fit. So I'm gonna just flip it for a second and show you guys. So um, it is uh, snowing. If you guys can see that outside, it's pretty bad. So we, um, we moved it to my little in-house area where I put pieces together. I still do create everything in wood shop. Sometimes I do assembling and curing here. Uh, we use pure oils to cure the wood, meaning that after it's all put together, we put a sealant, an oil sealant on it to waterproof it. I typically do that here, but um, for the most part, everything is done in wood shop. But I'll show you guys kind of what I do um, to improvise because of the weather. Oh, that is so awesome. It is looking so good so far. So let's get into it. Like, show us, like, all of what what is happening here. Like, the pieces to the boxes, what goes inside the box, where do you put what? Can you show us more? Yeah, so, okay, so how this works is um, I posted a video on the types of wood that I use. I use solid, outer, and oak wood along with pine and cedar wood. So I take solid pieces. So unlike some boxes that you'll see, they'll be full of like plywood. So you'll see different layers of wood glued together. That's not gonna happen here. These are oh. solid wood pieces, which help with the durability and longevity of the box. Um, these boxes can last over 10 years with proper care. So what I do is I cut them in these ergonomically shaped pieces. These are specifically designed for comfort. So like when you're sitting, your legs are coming out of here and your bum is right here. So it's very comfortable to sit on for a prolonged period of time. So you're seeing actual rough cuts before sanded, before it's cured, um, before any of that. So what I do is I create solid wood splines as well. So you'll see these pieces here. Okay. These solid wood splines go in between each piece, again, to allow for stretch. So natural woods breathe. You're um, contracting and contracting because of the steam. So if you don't allow for the ability to grow, it could crack. So this is designed, again, to help prolong the life of your box because you should be steaming four to six times a month, at least. Um, so you should be using it all the time. So, yep, so that's how that goes. That is so great. Now, what if you have, what are some of the sources that you can use to uh, put inside of your box for steam? Can you use a humidifier? No. So... <laughs> What you should be using is, and I'm glad you asked that, because uh, lately I've been getting a lot of questions about the steam setup. So really you should be using a cast iron pot, a terra clay pot if you don't have access to a cast iron pot. But you could get cast iron pots from Walmart, Target. This is my personal one that I use. Clearly I like this color. So what I do is... Um, in your box, there's a solid wood base. The solid wood base is designed for your pot to sit on top of it. It is, so it's designed for your box to sit on top of it. 
you have a hole here where the heat source comes through. So your cable to like an electric burner or dedicated heat source, if you should be using that, is the cable comes through here. So then while you're doing that, there's a solid wood base here. Your cast iron pot sits on top with the lid. And when you actually go to steam, of course, your lid will be off. You will have this lid on, which uh, Jediah have recently asked, can you customize the shape of the hole? You absolutely can. Um, this is designed to have the maximum amount of steam come through, but if you would like a shape within reason, I can do it, because again, I am creating them myself. So with your lid on, now the steam is coming up through here, right through the hole, and you're getting the properties of the steam and the herbs. That is beautiful. Now, the door. So is it a door on the outside or? So it's no door. So your entry point is going to be your lid itself. So this is completely removable. And it's flush inside. So it'll sit flush inside um, when you have all it together. You'll take your lid off. You'll reach over, put your pot in, remove your pot, put your lid back on. So that's your entryway into your steam box. That is so great. And I want to get into the customations because you said you can change the shape of the hole. Me personally, I'm placing my order right now. I would like a heart. I know. Uh, I know. Shape <laughs> hole. And um, I would like my name to be on the spine. Something yep. like this. Let me see if I have a, like this. I would like my name to be on the spine part of it. Okay. And of course, it's going to be like a logo. So that's the finished one with the the electric outlet hole. Right. And the, the logo on it. And then the two wall panels will have on each side an uh, image. And then a name can go on the spine here. Yep, exactly. So, yeah, we can definitely put your, your name or any name that you would like on a spine. Um, those flower patterns are custom and indicative of a lot of the flowers and herbs that we use within the actual steam. And then, again, we'll change our hole to a heart instead of an oval. And then, of course, we have our, our logo on the back. But you don't really see that because that's in the back. That's so cool. Thanks. So I am at this stage of the brew here. I don't know if y'all can see this. But she is starting to open up. Um but not much. Mind you, the, the heat source is a candle, and that's still amazing in itself. What happens during a vaginal steaming? What so, actually happens to your inside, your uterus, and things like that? What is What are the benefits, ultimately? Yeah, so it's going to vary. Um, the benefits, um, there are a plethora of benefits. So just generally speaking, um, you can ease menstrual cramps, you can regulate periods, you can help with infertility, help with uh, strengthening vaginal walls, tightening, removing odors, irregular discharge. I mean, I could go on for days. But the reason why I said it the way I initially said it is because we as certified vaginal steam facilitators create herbs specific to your situation. So whatever you're dealing with is the herbs that we're going to pick and ultimately make a steam schedule for the, you to use. So your benefits are going to be based off what irregularities that you're having. Oh, so the herb blend is not one size fit all herbs. It's it like, is not. <laughs> according to, like, you can spice it. Like, a, okay. Like, you, you put whatever, according to whatever the woman's issue is, is custom made blend for that issue it's not just here's the steaming pouch exactly like uh vaginal steaming is a medicinal practice so look at it as you go into a doctor just because the woman that went in and saw the doctor before you her treatment was xyz doesn't mean now the next 10 women that come in 
get the same exact treatment. That doesn't make any type of sense. How it works is we have you fill out what we call a consultation form and simply that's just an intake form so we can understand what is actually going on with you to make sure you can actually steam because there are instances when you can't and to confirm what actual herbs you may need based off your issue. You really shouldn't blindly be buying herbal steams off the internet with no idea of what herbs are in them um, and how they actually benefit you in their proper usage. Because it can ultimately do more harm than good. You can trigger or kick off something that you don't want to or good. open something up that shouldn't be according to your body and it might cause menstruation irregularly yep. and that we don't want it could cause It could cause your menses to come on. It could cause vaginal dryness. It could cause irritation. There's a bunch of things that can happen that are counterproductive to the reason why you want it to start steaming to begin with. So, so not don't just you, randomly buy herbs for, right. the for this. <laughs> Do not. You don't have to get them from me, but I recommend if you get them, you get them from a certified practitioner. And I do happen to be just that. All right. And that brings me to my next question, though. How often should you be steaming you briefly touched on it about what did you say uh five or six times a month so four to six times yeah it all depends so when you actually fill out the consultation form along with the type of herbs you should use we also provide a recommended steam schedule the reason being is there's sometimes when you can't steam there's ideal times when you should steam and then there's this general purposes that people just randomly pick days to steam that's okay too in a sense if you're just using it for general purposes pretty much maintenance but there is an issue which usually people start steaming initially because there's something they're trying to fix then after they fix the issue they enjoy the process they uh, use it as a part of their daily regimen but if there's an issue sometimes we recommend a specific schedule to maximize getting rid of that issue that you're having right there that is wonderful very welcome you're very y'all know we bring the goodies we got y'all we got y'all so um yes that brings me to my next question um the adi v steam boxes are fairly new to adi i've noticed like you usually do herbs and soaps and oils which are wonderfully great Mm -hmm for your hair and fresh too because you do have farm to product um products that needs to be refrigerated like they are that raw and that fresh um but i noticed that this v v steam box is fairly new um so what will be included in the kit in the future like will you get herbs with your box initially yeah that's a great question so what we're looking to offer is actually a full steam gown We make our steam gowns out of double satin crepe, which is a very high quality satin. Um, You'll use steam gowns if you qualify. Some people should not use gowns, but if you qualify to wear a gown, um, what you would do is put that over you and your box while you're sitting. And that encases the steam and traps it in, makes it a little bit more potent, a little bit more strength to the steam as it's going to all those targeted areas because it doesn't just hit the vagina, which we really don't like to call it vaginal steaming in our profession. We call it parasteam because it's hitting your uterus, all your productive tracts, as well as your anus. So that entire area is being treated with the herbs and the steam. So what we will offer, of course, is high quality organic wildcrafted herbs, as well as a cast iron pot and that steam gown I just mentioned, in addition to your custom steam box. Okay, um, so you'll get the, the herbs, you'll, you'll be able to get a bundle, or you can buy a sep- the box separately. Yep. You'll get herbs, you'll get a steam pot, Is it will it be clay or cast iron? Cast iron always. I'm in preference to cast iron. Women who have Cycles, traditionally, uh, Black and Hispanic women are typically anemic. So using cast iron pots actually also puts additional iron in your body when you need it most, which is right before or after a menstrual cycle. Um, So all our pots will be cast. 
Mm-hmm. The idea of intaking things, what you need from that area, exactly. from the cootie, is like, <laughs> wow. Um, but, yes. Uh, yes, we want to um, utilize these resources so you get, you can buy the box individually and you will be able to, in the future, um, buy the kit, which will be the box, the robe, um, the steam gown, um, the herbs, and the pot. Exactly. All together. Okay. And now I've seen people do steams and they'll have them on skirts, but they're like sitting on the skirt. Like yeah. they're not hovering, like, you know, like tinting the right. whole unit. That's a good word. And yeah, you should tint it. it. It just encases all the steam. So there are some steam box that are essentially just stools. So the steam can escape in any one direction. I don't really recommend those unless you're going to then drape a gown or even a blanket if you don't have access to a gown at this moment just use what you have um the important part about steaming is to understand this has been happening for centuries all over the world so you don't need to have fancy smancy stuff you need to focus on your health and the best way to do that is to use what you have just do not use plastic You don't want to use plastic at all. A lot of people use those sits bath where they stick it in the toilet. And I don't recommend that because plastics leach when heated. I had a baby in the hospital one time. And Mm -hmm. that that just brings me to my next question as well. I had a baby in the hospital one time and they gave me that. Like they tried. They really tried. And me not knowing better, I took it and I tried to use it the way they gave it to me it was like a bed pan but it had a brim on it that it can sit inside of the toilet and when i put it in the toilet i couldn't close the toilet seat on it and it burnt my butt like yeah yep (laughs) it burnt my butt like and i didn't want to do it again because of the risk of that happening the steam was too hot i tried it again where I tried to hover over it, and the steam was just extremely too hot, and then um, I burnt my butt, like, ultimately. So what are the risks, and how can we prevent burnt butt? (laughs) So, yeah, what you're describing, a lot of women actually have experienced. Again, I would strongly recommend that you deal with a certified practitioner. Um, The way we design our boxes is to allow at least 12 inches of space between the actual pot and the bottom of your bum to prevent that burning. Oh, In wow. addition, uh, we recommend that you uh, cook our herbs on medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you actually test the steam that's coming up before you actually sit on it. A lot mm-hmm. of issues that people have with steaming is because of ignorance, frankly, or just kind of going through it without really doing any due diligence to understand. Again, this is a medical practice, so you should do your due diligence to understand the proper way to successfully be steamed. So you're not leaving a bad impression. Like you may have said to yourself, I don't want to steam anymore because it hurts. And you may tell other people that. And so now it's spreading around like, oh, vaginal steaming burns. You can't do it when actually it was your fault because you didn't know. (laughs) But it was your fault because you use a sitz bath versus the actual (laughs) steam setup that we recommend. Uh, So that 12 inches is powerful. That's heavy. It is. I didn't know. First of all, the hospital gave me, they medical professionals. So I'm thinking that they know better from the toilet to your butt is not 12 inches in that pan. (laughs) So duh. Like, and I'm saying, listen, it just wasn't right. And this is the proper way. It has to be 12 inches the pot yeah. I love it and I would like to place the order right now ma'am got you so if I, I can you. do that um right now yes you actually can. you can go on adinaturals.com right now and place the order um again I do it all handcrafted so allow for uh, 30 to 45 days before it's actually shipped to you with the customization and handcrafted nature of the box I am I am definitely doing that. Oh, I have to um, finish the interview. I have to ask the question first because I can't, <laughs> like, see. Oh, you're welcome, Vanessa. Thank you so much for watching, Sister Vanessa, and, and showing up for your sisters. Thank you. Um, and my, my next um, 
thing. I want to get into the Z Steam checklist. So yes. once your box arrives, yep. right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. These are the things that you need for your steam party. Okay. Mm -hmm. The heat source is this candle here. And I don't know how many candles it's going to take to get it hot enough. But I started out with a, a, a hot water. It was, it was set for a little bit. It wasn't boiling. So my next thing, I'm going to get into this checklist. The checklist okay. is your essentials. First, you need mm -hmm. your essentials, your clothing, and your provisions. Yeah. So let's get into the essentials. The herb, you need the herbs, of course. Yep. Um, do you have any herbs here? We do. Open? Yep. So we, um, primarily there's four buckets of herbs that most women fall into in category of. There may be minor changes I make to some specific herbs if you have allergies or if you have PCOS. Um, but for the most part, we all fall into either cleansing herbs, cooling herbs, disinfecting herbs and gentle herbs um so they all serve a purpose they're outlined extensively on my website as well as on this instagram under adinatrals.com so you can read that for yourself i detail that out but yeah we do have fresh herbs they're actually in rice paper this paper is rice so it's completely oh, biodegradable so uh, uh, it just it just matters it just matters where your herbs sit actually um if they're in jars that have sunlight they could Go rancid faster because the sun will erode them if they have extreme exposure to moisture or uh, it's, it's a bunch of things, humidity in the air. So you want to make sure you keep your herbs in air airtight packaging, whether it's a glass jar, which are also extremely acceptable and we use, or we use these rice papers here. But yes, we do. We have plenty of herbs in stock. Um, so again, they're on sale, 25% off on adinaturals.com. Thank you for that. Okay, so, and then you need um, the uh, a pot with the yes. lid. Yes, yep. So that's what I showed earlier. I personally use a cast iron pot. I recommend just getting a two-quart pot. Shouldn't need any really more than two quarts. These are very inexpensive, even as being cast iron. If you don't have access to a cast iron or can't get one, you could use a clay pot. Those are also completely acceptable. I just would caution that with the clay pots, make sure they're authentic because sometimes they put additives in the clay to help with the molding and curing process. You do and not you don't want to introduce that stuff getting up exactly, inside of you. Exactly. Don't introduce wow. foreign things in there. You got to be very purposeful. Um, it may seem like a lot, but once you get it set up, that's you're good. You're good for the next decade. Now, there is an attack on our womb. I know that a lot of people may like have heard about it, rumored yep. about it, but there is a serious attack on our womb, especially when it comes to the food that they are selling. And that is not by coincidence. That is by design. So yep. um, we live in food deserts. They put these additives and all this stuff inside of the meat where it makes your period irregular. It makes yep. your body basically reject um, um your baby like if you become pregnant or you are at a fertile stage your mm -hmm. body will become like a what do you call it like reject against it like uh like get so, out yeah the so all of these things matter like how she's yeah. caring for the the exactly. rice paper exactly. for the herbs and how the herb the wood all of these things that are going up inside of you is to get all of that extra stuff out that they that the world put in yeah. um, that affects your reproductive system. Exactly. And it is like a war on our womb, seriously. So the next um, thing, so the pot, the pot you can actually pur purchase on Amazon, you were saying, right? Yeah, they're, they're readily Target. available. Uh, Walmart, Target. It's just cast iron. It needs one, to be 100% cast iron pot. With the lid you need to have a lid on there because you want to steep your herbs just like tea just like how you would do the tea how we're doing the blooming tea here you put a lid on after you put your herbs in so they can steep and of course you want to have your candles yes me personally i have the wax before the fire it's also <laughs> another sister nice. she um is really really awesome with um home decor fragrance wax before the fire okay and then you need 
to have your music, of course. And like make a whole thing of it. Like, why right. not? It's for right. you. It this is your not only your womb and reproductive care, but for your mind as well. So you want to go yep. into the next part of the checklist is a relaxed mind. Don't yep. when you shut that bathroom door or you shut that door wherever your steam box is, tap the handle and leave everything on the other side. You yep. come in with a blank, relaxed mind, like this is for me. You yep. inhale positivity, prosperity, love, and you exhale all the bullshit that blocks that. And you sit yep. on your pot and you just relax. Yeah, relax take that time. Out. Take that time. Turn off your phone if you can, notifications. We only recommend steaming up to 30 minutes. Um, you should not be on pots for over an hour. I've heard people being on them that long. That is not even clinically uh, <laughs> acceptable Don't you'll never <laughs> like it's like you 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 want to be on there anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes so just give yourself that moment of time to help facilitate the rejuvenation of your body so like she's saying with <clears throat> with your candles that's just setting an ambiance if you could have either like kind of dim lighting to help soothe your mind you're, it's not very erratic um the music whatever music is soothing don't blast nothing where you want to start popping and locking and all this other stuff. <laughs> like keep it real chill, you know, because you're just trying to relax your mind, relax your body and heal. And next, the next category of our V steam checklist, when you get your box in the mail, this is, checklist is also available on Adi Naturals Insta page is right here. You can just click on it. Don't forget to follow for new updates and products. So the clothing the clothing is the next part of the checklist. You need your steaming gown, which yep. you are not just sitting on a skirt. You are tinting it over right. the whole entire box. Exactly. So it has to be big enough for that. Yep. And what's the weight requirement for the boxes? Good actually? question. So although the bud is solid, lasts over 10 years, we are only recommending up to 300 pounds. So my good sisters, if you are over 300, that's okay. Just lose some weight and then get a box. <laughs> and, then get a box. <laughs> and then get a box. And then get a box. It's that simple. Or if you do get a box and you're that weight, it won't last um, up to As the long. full lifespan. Exactly. It won't be 10 years. Yeah. You'll probably get half, which is still good, but we want things to last. Things um, built in our day and age, they're made to be replaced in two years like cell phones. Adi Naturals yes. is not about that. We try to have longevity with the products that we create. Okay. And our, so we have the steam gown and we need comfy shoes. You need something to put your hair up with, a head yep. wrap or something like that, like a hair bow. Yep. Um, and eye covers, like you know how you have like the sleep mask. Now exactly. set an alarm because if you fall asleep, you're going to be on there for longer than the required time. <laughs> like yeah. over an hour is too much. To too be, much. Um, 30 minutes max. Yeah, you don't want to cook. Minutes you don't want to overcook. Right. Okay. <laughs> and have a towel. And next is provisions. Yeah. So let's talk provisions. Mm -hmm. We are saying like tea. So you want to have something hot, Sister, you yeah. were telling me before our conversation, to keep the things... Keep warm your core day. warm. So warm something, whether it's um, warm tea or a hot toddy. If you want a little, you know, a little alcohol in your beverage, just keep your core warm. So how we learn about herbs is they're warm and cool. And any type of irregular irregularities with our menses is a result of an imbalance. So the whole purpose of vaginal steaming is to correct the imbalance. So when that process is over, you want to continue with the rejuvenation of your body. So you want to introduce warm things. Okay. So like a hot tea, a hot toddy, warm soup, warm brownies, warm cookies, anything yep. like that. Yep. Anything like warm and enjoyable um, is what you want to introduce after you completed your vaginal steaming for, again, I can't stress this enough should be anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes should not exceed 30 minutes yes thank you so much for that You're very welcome we appreciate you being You're very here. welcome everybody that was on this live and enjoyed um and gleaned something from what this sister was saying please 
feel free to inbox her thanks and love and give her her flowers because she really, you know, came here and spent time out of her snowy day. Where everybody yeah. wanted to stay asleep. I know I wanted to stay in bed. You for know, sure. she came here for us. So please stop by her page, like, follow, and share, and drop something in her inbox. And if you can, you know, we we take we take tips. We we take cash <laughs> app tips as well. So yes, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, sis, for being You're very here. welcome. It's Shalom, my pleasure. everybody. Um, sis, please, you gotta hang up with me because I don't know how to end it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, around. everyone. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. You can find me on Instagram under adinaturals.com or on the website adinaturals.com. Take care. Bye. So if anybody want to hang out with me for a little bit longer, just to see like how this is coming along. Now, um, you can stay. Feel free to stay so we can see how our flower blooms now we are steaming an actual flower the type of flower we are steaming in honor of our guest shalom shalom sister tessa shalom. in honor of our guest we are steaming a tea flower so this is called leche tea this is a leche tea flower um and this is what it's supposed to look like it's called first kiss and it's supposed to bloom into this like bouquet thing right here and so far this is where we are now i don't know how long this is going to take this deep because the heat source is actually a candle so yeah i might just let this hang out if anybody have any questions any business questions i can help with if you are a brand new startup or you're thinking about opening a new business feel free to let me know like i will answer any questions i'm not an information horde i will give it all freely or you can dm me your question um and if i know it i can tell you and help you or we can find out together using the resources i know Okay. Um, I kind of want to like stick something in there and like swirling around, but I don't want to disturb it. Lady questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. And if nobody has any questions, I'm gonna I'm gonna just tip on out of here. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you missed it, don't worry. I'm about to share the replay.